Happy to know businesses and homeowners can save some money by refinancing their loans. Well, now there is a new plan to let college graduates who might be struggling with crushing debt loads do the same thing. But critics say it's going to cost taxpayers a bundle. Rich Edson with the Fox Business Network live in Washington. Rich? Well, John, Americans owe more than a trillion dollars in student loans. The interest rates they pay on those loans vary. Some government subsidized loans feature rates of 3.4%. Some are more than double that. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand has introduced a bill to allow students paying interest of more than 4% on their federal government loans to refinance to a fixed 4% rate. Supporters say cash strapped students should also benefit from the low interest rates available across the economy. The government is actually borrowing money at less than 2% interest, but it's loaning it out at student, for students and their families at you know, 3.4 or 6.8 or sometimes 8.25%. And so the government's actually making quite a bit of money off of the loan program. We obviously think that that's wrong. Um, the government shouldn't be making money on the backs of students who are trying to you know, go to college, get a degree, get a good job. Now, opponents say students with little or no credit history facing fewer job opportunities are riskier to lend money to. That's why they pay higher rates. They say taxpayers could lose out on billions of dollars. One says the important point is that this will cost taxpayers more, though how much we don't know, and do nothing to slow the hyper-escalating price of college. If anything, it'll make it worse. College costs are up more than 25% at public universities over the past five years, and recently released federal statistics show one in five U.S. households have student loans for an average outstanding balance of nearly $27,000. John? That is a big chunk of change. Rich Edson, yeah. thank you. We are